The death of Olada Poalani, a 26-year-old woman who reportedly died by suicide by jumping into a moving train at a train station in Manchester, United Kingdom last year, has sparked controversy. Her father, Mr. Olada Poagundikwe, has raised concerns and his daughter may have been murdered and he's calling on the Manchester police to reopen the investigation into her death. During a briefing in Ikeja, Ogundipe shared an update on Alani's death and revealed that her boyfriend, known only as Ryan, has unanswered questions regarding the circumstances surrounding her death. He disclosed that Alani's death occurred just as she was expecting to receive £102,000 and that it was announced shortly after her boyfriend illegally accessed her phone and stole her bank statement along with other sensitive information. Overwhelmed with emotion, the grieving father broke down in tears as he addressed the journalists. The I've come to the distressing realization regarding the events leading to a person. My daughter and her ex-boyfriend, Ryan Leggett, met in June 2022. And by the first week of August, they had given her herpes. My daughter was ignorant that she thought she would not be able to meet anyone again due to the infection. Also, if they wanted to do anything together, they would loan her the money so as to make her do it. They would first tell her it was a gift, and later he would tell her it was a loan. And I said, I want to ask questions. He asked them again, any objections? The police said they don't really object. By this point in time, Ryan had, Ryan had was, was Ryan, um, joined this thing remotely. At this point that I spoke, before they adjourned it, Ryan disappeared. When the hearing resumed, Ryan did not come back to that hearing. On playing back the recording, and also he came back after I had left. Yeah. So, Josie's barrister opposed me asking questions. The police said they don't oppose, but because Ryan is not here, they cannot have forced Ryan to come back. Maybe the judge should allow me to put the questions in writing. First of all, breaking into someone's phone without consent, it's going to, this is going to encourage other people to do the same thing, other people's children. It needs to be prosecuted for that. Breaking into the girl's phone without consent and using information to threaten her until she yielded to his demands. He needs, he needs to answer for that. So the blackmail is separate. Breaking into the phone itself is a standalone offense in the UK. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.